My name is Ramsey, and welcome back to Slay the Spy for the Daily Challenge for the 15th of March 2020. The characters are silent. We have a sealed deck, craft a deck of 30 random cards. Uh, purple cards. Purple cards now appear in rewards and shops. And lethality. You start each combat with three strength, and all enemies start combat with plus three strength. This is gonna be an interesting one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can hardly wait. All right, so we are looking for kind of like blow up the enemies on turn one, turn two, maybe at the latest kind of situation. Uh, the longer we stay in the fight, the more likely we are to end up taking damage because all the enemies have the plus three strength on them. Let's have a look at the first boss, first floor. Ah! Okay, we have two turns to kill the Hexaghost. Otherwise, we are going to take damage. Just lethality guarantees it effectively. All right, let's have a look at how much defense we have active in here. We actually have a fair bit. Uh, third eye, two backflips, one uh, cloak and dagger. So seven, five, five, six. That's actually all of the block. Like all of the just straight up block, right? Obviously you have like water and other things. Uh, crescendo is great. We'll be definitely taking Crescendo. So Crescendo. I think we take Cloak and Dagger. Cloak and Dagger upgraded with the extra strength on two different shivs is really good with Lethality. Uh, I also think we probably take Consecrate because of Lethality as well. Endless Agony. I kind of want Foreign Influence as well. Yeah, it's another zero cost. And if I'm taking two backflips, like Endless Agony, Foreign Influence, Consecrate, the zero costs are really good if I'm taking that many. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight cards picked already. It might just be cut through fate, cut through fate. Two that have card draw associated with them and scry as well, so I can get past possible curses I intend to pick up. I mean, I have never tried a scry discard deck. So, like, Tactician in the deck, and then you have Scry, and Scry discards it before it goes into your hand. I don't actually even know how that would work. Because it does say, look at the top card, you may discard any of them. And then this says, if this card is discarded from your hand. Never mind, it's actually clarified there. Dang. Oh, I mean, th those, those mechanics only exist in two different characters. So, I think it would actually be cool if it worked like that. Like... Does the silent have access to discarding things from the top of the deck? I don't think so. So I think it's just... Yeah, I think... I think Scry should work on that. It would be cool. It, it's like a, a an edge case use scenario, but it'd just be neat, you know? We could go for infinite blades for an every, uh, extra shiver every turn. Uh, I think it's cut through fate, cut through fate. So this deck is very, very heavy in card draw. Which of these paths do I want to take? Which has more question marks? Three. Wait, hang on. Three. Two. Three. Three question marks total on the right side. Three question marks. Two rests and a late shop on the left side. So it'll be that one. Uh, this is going to be Crescendo, of course. Cut through fate and get myself an Endless Agony. Yeah, blow them up. Dagger Spray, huge. It's pretty much everything that we need. Sash Whip, Third Eye. Weakening enemies is really good when they have extra strength. I mean, Cut Through Fate just kills, yeah. Whew. Evaluate, maybe? See, I do need to pad the deck. I already have two copies in this deck, so we're not going for a Highlander. I do need to pad the deck to get to my 50 cards and stuff like that. Upgrade a card. I kind of want Crescendo to be zero cost, so I can play it at any time. But also, Foreign Influence needs its upgrade, especially before we get to the first Elite, because it's really good for fishing for a powerful attack and just blowing an enemy up.
I'm gonna evaluate Dagger Spray. The idea being that we just kill this turn with the Crescendo Foreign Influence. Ooh, Hand of Greed is lovely. And yeah, this will do it, actually. Had enough draw there to get to the card that would have done it anyway. Uh, dodge and Roll, Tranquility, and Prostrate. The only one here is possibly Tranquility, so we get a plus two energy bump on the turn that we enter uh, Wrath eventually. Fine. It'll be nice here in the early game, at least, while I don't have that much energy. Okay, Sucker Punch's weakness. Fine. Take another question mark. Ooh, shop. Bowling Bash is really, really good here. Extra strength in elite fights is also great. We should take that. Yeah, we should definitely take the extra strength in elite fights. That's kind of non-negotiable, I think. Uh, Bowling Bash is obviously incredible for elite fights. Next floor as well. Backstab's just fine. Hmm. I'll take it. I've got a later shop on this floor and I'm not really gonna have that much for it, but yeah. Fair enough. I got my backstab. I'm okay. Don't really need much else. We've also got the ornamental fan. Whenever you play three attacks in a single turn, gain four block. And I think I'll take the fear no evil over the leg sweep here. Just so that it's easier for me to get the energy pump when I enter Roth. Okay. So we have time to set up here, but what is our setup really? The Cloak and Dagger, Tranquility, and Backflip. Foreign Influence. It's only zero this turn, so I don't use that right now. Unless I think I'm going to pull something that actually... Ooh, hang on. I could kill this turn, depending on what we get. Yeah, probably none of these, though. That's fine. Extremely fine. Toxic Egg, when you had a skill card to your deck, upgrade it. Let's get that for the moment and then come back and... I shouldn't really take Alchemize. That gets rid of my Pauper's Bonus at the moment. And I shouldn't need to get rid of my Pauper's Bonus. Follow-up is fine. I think follow-up is fine. Dagger Spray for the extra AoE damage, knowing that we're going into the next floor. Quick Slash... Blade Dance is obviously pre-upgraded. That's a great pick. Flying Sleeves and Quick Slash. Yeah, Flying Sleeves and Quick Slash. Both great pickups for us there. Unfortunately, we basically need to kill on turn two here or be sad. Somehow I feel like we're just going to be sad. Tranquility, Dagger Spray, Sash Whip to weaken for the next turn. Fine. Thirty-six incoming damage. How I was planning to block this this turn? No clue. My God, we actually almost ended up blocking it. If I had one more attack in my hand right now, we actually would have. Never mind. Totally blockable as long as I had the weakness. Or lower HP, obviously. Well, I've already taken damage in this fight, so now it's just time to go for the kill. Get rid of that and draw something else instead. Got him. Adrenaline pre-upgraded. Oof. If anything, I'll just remove that later. Uh, 
drawing an extra card a turn, considering how many zero costs I put in there, is really good. Okay, path I'm about to take has a lot of shops. So that means I can afford to be very, very picky in some of them. Let's say conclude last. Consecrate, dagger spray, everything goes on the grounds. And then I'm just setting things down to a life total where conclude is going to be enough. Bouncing flask, meditate, sneaky strike. I think actually uniquely here will take nothing. Yeah, none of that really appeals to me at all. Sure, I'll take some damage on this turn, but should be able to set up for a pretty easy kill. Come on, crescendo. Game, crescendo me. Well, no crescendo, but we'll see how much damage we can do anyway. Follow up first, Ryan. Follow up first. It's fine, though. Lethal still exists in the deck. Another copy of crescendo would be really good at this point. Cloak and dagger, obviously. Thank you. Necronomicon. And Caridian. Start of each combat, add a random zero cost power to your hand. Or add a random power to your hand, it costs zero this turn. Mm -hmm. Immolate is nice there. Way too far to get to our crescendo. Best I could do, and we still ended up defending that turn, so... Honestly, worked out pretty well. Another Cloak and Dagger. Yeah, we're not going to take any damage past this point with all those Cloak and Daggers in the deck. Medical kit, unplayable status cards cannot be played. Ooh, Wreath of Flame. How many multi-attacks do I actually have, though? Like, multi-hit attacks. Like, Flying Sleeves and Dagger Spray at the moment? I'm going to take the Wreath of Flame because I believe in it, but I don't know when I'm actually going to be able to use it. A free Deva form on the first turn. Now, that's pretty damn good. Well, third eye looking for a weakened source here, but actually in short of it, I'll take the cloak and dagger instead. Because then I still get to full block this turn. Okay. Fear no evil. I'm gonna drink the decks there. Save myself damage this turn. I'm still just this is the crescendo waiting room, effectively. Oh, look, Crescendo. It's no longer the waiting room. <laughs> Mind Blast. Uh, Mind Blast isn't even going to be good after drawing into the new deck, so. We'll skip it. Prey Will. Normally means drop an additional card. Take a Predator, sure. It's a bit expensive for us, but we might get an Energy Relic after the next boss. I'm going to Shrank, Backstab, Wreath of Flame. So I've got Crescendo in the next hand. As long as I get Dagger Spray, we just win. Got it. Crescendo, Dagger Spray. Sands of Time versus Bowling Bash. I'd love a Sands of Time. For boss fights, at least. Another Crescendo. Take the Sands of Time. Uh, I don't need to go to that shop with only 123. Shanda, Wreath of Flame Dagger Spray. Uh, I feel like the difference between me and other people is just going to be the uh, first floor boss. And that's totally fair. I should have done better at that boss. 
Pen nib, every 10th attack blade is double damage. Crescendo Dagger Spray? 22 damage twice to all enemies. That'll be enough. Lantern, Sardage Combat with Additional Energy. And another Cut Through Time. Thank you. Possible Collector's Bonus on those uh, Cut Through Times, as well as the Dagger Sprays soon. Dagger Spray, sorry, the uh, Cloak and Dagger. Anything that extends a turn of weaken is getting an upgrade now. Tranquility should also probably get an upgrade. That's my first curse. That's way too late to start getting curses, I think. Rid with holes, obviously. Fine. Going rid with holes and then getting rid of the writhe. We can't afford to put five curses in this deck. Take a pre-upgraded third either. And I'm actually gonna drop, uh, no, I can't drop any of those potions, but I do want the block potion. I kind of hope that I don't really get a choice, but have to take damage in this fight. Because then it doesn't matter. I wasn't getting beyond perfect anyway. <gasps> Wraith form in the opening hand? I don't know about that. Okay, there's my crescendo. Signature move? Alright, fine. I'll leave the backstab for the double damage with the pen nib. Okay, cloak and dagger, stab, stab, wreath of flame, backstab for 132 damage. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> uh, if I put another adrenaline in this deck, I'm not going to be able to remove it in time. Do enemies have an additional strength? Fine. As if I care. When do they get to play? Fine. I'm just setting myself up to have a Wreath of Flames later. So I've got double damage on Wreath of Flames. I've got double damage from the Pen Nib. Sorry, not double damage, but I've got increased damage from Wreath of Flames, double damage from the Pen Nib. Uh, I can double damage with Wrath, so literally I'm just looking for an AoE card right now. So I'll third eye, getting rid of anything that's not an AoE card. Adrenaline trying to draw an AOE card. Nothing. I can make everyone vulnerable at least. Okay. I'm going to trank into Crescendo into Indignation here, making everyone vulnerable. And then just plug them with a bunch of attacks. Cow Gamble's real good in a deck like this. Cloak and Dagger. Cloak and Dagger is my collector's bonus. I know it was up against Finisher there, but Cloak and Dagger. Uh, both Madnesses will be zero cost. They're pre-upgraded by the Toxic Egg, as well as the fact that uh, we already have a lot of draw power in the deck. That's actually fine. Oh, hell yeah. Crescendo Ragnarok. Don't even need to worry about the rest of the turn. Accuracy, Tranquility, Reflex. If anything, it'd be that Tranquility. And I think I still am padding out the deck, so I'll take it. <sighs> Conclude. Another AoE. Why are we not going for Accuracy? Accuracy is such a small damage increase on Shivs, and Shivs aren't the majority of our attacks. Yeah, we have a lot of Shivs in the deck, but we also have a 40 card deck. The extra strength every turn. One strength every fight, sorry. Yep. 
I hope I get a card opportunity, uh, card removal opportunity later, because I'm taking Riddle the Horse here. I think I'm gonna upgrade the things that give us a little bit of defense. Ooh, establishment's good for us. So I'm gonna be weakened this turn. And this turn are oh, rude. Fine, I just need to play out all of my attacks and stuff then. Can't just hold on to them all forever. Alright. We should be fine. Let's go crescendo. Blade dance. Shiv, shiv, shiv. Dagger spray. Sands of time and then riddle them with holes. Pocket watch. Whenever you play three or less cards during your turn, draw three additional cards at the start of the next turn. As well as sanctity. I don't really need to upgrade another card in my deck in that space. So I'm gonna go with question mark instead. Really, really would have preferred if this was removal. Or if I had the money to remove at that point in time. Nunchaku, whenever you play 10 attacks in a single turn, gain one energy. Sorry, in a single turn. Whenever you play 10 attacks, gain an energy. I might not... So I'm, I I might... Oh, thank you. Never mind. Oh, my God. Get rid of Adrenaline. I was about to say, I might not be able to get Pauper or Encyclopedian or Perfect. Which is just, just rough to miss out on all of them. Oh, that's so annoying. Wreath of Flame drawn earlier would have actually been incredible. Okay. Just cut through fate. We can cut offensive cards, obviously. Get him. Meal ticket, whenever you enter a shop, heal 15 HP. Upgrade all cards in hand, I don't care about as much as the flex potion. Reach heaven's nice. Tranquility, sanctity, looking for... Woo, that'll do it. Uh, indignation into backstab there, and then dagger spray. I'll take three damage, but I'm fine taking three damage to clear that all. Flying sleeves, riddled with holes, riddled with holes. Lovely. Uh, another third eye. Another riddled with holes. Let's get the track to be zero cost as well. All right. Let's see how this boss fight goes. Uh, it's actually probably better for me to rest at this point. Get back to full HP. Okay. What's third eye to start with? I don't really need any of those. Third eye again. Bowling Bash. Tranquility. I don't have a Tranquility yet. Cloak and Dagger Evaluate. I really need to be killing next turn. Just something has to die next turn. So I need power, not every other card I keep drawing. Just card to discard. 
Um, I'm going to discard one of the Endless Agonies. Madness and then Sanctity. Oh. I can't get... I can't get madness for the life of me right now, unfortunately. Okay. Oh, God. Not madness, sorry. I can't get uh, wrath for the life of me right now. So 15 five times is not going to be enough, right? Fourteen five times still isn't enough, but twenty-five five times is. Okay. How do I block this turn though? It has to be kill, surely, right? I don't need trank this turn. Points fines. I'm not going to be able to make that enemy weak. So the best I can do is that unload. We got this. So we could have perfected all of the boss fights. Yep, 100 more than that score is if we were slightly uh, more damaged going into the Hexaghost fight. That's always my downfall. I I just, I even see it at the start, but then I completely forget about it by the end. We ended up with one collector's bonus. The only other thing is Librarian into Encyclopedia and would have taken five more cards. So that would have been different purchases at a shop, effectively. And uh, did we ever dodge an elite? No, we didn't dodge an elite, but there was one elite that we didn't perfect that I think we could have. Yeah, not even on the first page. Oof. Down here on the bottom of the second page. I mean, uh, it's okay. I could have done significantly better, but I was very pleased. By the way, Aracado and Burst, both of you, well done on this daily. Uh, I was very, very pleased uh, by the effectiveness of the deck. Just, you know, how that translated into score. A little bit more tenuous. For the moment, my name is Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slay the Spire. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.